Ladies and gentlemen, Plutonium is launching a new game slash client. I'm assuming it's 007 Quantum of Solace because all they've given us is the codename 7, just as a tease. Restart to unpack. Okay, so let me just open this preloader.exe here. Plutonium Quantum of Solace. I knew it. And just by using the preloader from Plutonium, it automatically installed all the files. Now we can launch Plutonium Quantum. And as far as I know, Quantum of Solace is actually on the COD 4 engine, and it has online multiplayer, and it's basically another game you can play that's similar to COD 4 in some capacity, but let's just, uh, Windows Live. Uh, sure. Oh, it takes you to Plutonium's forum to log in, so it's definitely through Plutonium, which is nice. And it looks like Plutonium's actually put out a little announcement page here you guys can check out, which I'll link in the description if you need help installing it and getting it all set up. But let me try to go into Windows Live here. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's find a match. And let's just hop right in. Found a match pretty much immediately, so it looks like there's a bunch of people on it. I didn't see a server browser, maybe there was one, but oh god, that's loud. Okay. Oh my god, there's inverted controls. Alright, we can disable look inversion here, and I turned down the volume, and now we should be good to go. So we're playing with a bunch of people here, it looks like. Are, are there bots? Is this the first match to start? Yes. I'm in the first match of Quantum of Solace, and I got my first kill? Let's go! I don't, know if there's, I don't think there's friendly fire. This is really cool, man. I've never played this game before, but I'm glad to see it's here on Plutonium. Oh man. Hey, Plutonium, if you guys watch this video, you guys should- Oh, almost friendly fire there. You guys should totally add a SOCOM game. I don't know how possible that would be, but uh, that would be amazing. Looks like there's no command console or FOV sliders or anything like that quite yet, but obviously, hopefully we'll see something like that in the future. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you want to play Plutonium's Quantum of Solace now, you guys can. And I'll, I'll link their installer page here in the description of this video, because it's pretty cool. And this came out on Easter. They did a little April Fool's prank with it, like they did last year. They teased BO3 heavily, but then they just dropped Guitar Hero 3, so... <laughs> There's a little bit of a delay between sprinting and aiming down sight, so you kind of have to stop to do that. I'll have to get used to this game. But it's definitely pretty cool. I don't think I've even switched to my pistol. Should I try to use the pistol a little bit? I mean, James Bond uses pistols a lot, right? Oh, there's a guy standing at AFK right there. Then I, I can do this. There we go. <laughs> They're talking about getting FOV slider. Um, oh, man. All right, guys. Well, we got our free kill with a the pistol there. Even Oh, what is this? A shotgun? Should I try it? Oh, my goodness. It's a burst shotgun. Right, guys, well, maybe I'll do a deeper dive into this game, but I just wanted to hop in and check it out and let you guys know that this Plutonium project is out. We now have a new game slash client to be playing Plutonium with, so that's pretty cool. And we'll have to see what ends up being produced in the future as well and what changes to this. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. And if you were hoping for BO3 or something, guys, uh, the boy client is still out, out there and it's still a thing. I'll link my install guide in the top card up above right now. But thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you guys on Quantum of Solace, maybe. Peace out.